Tonight on The Tool Show, we've got new tool announcements from Makita, Bosch, Milwaukee, Rigid, Ryobi, and more. We have a $200 heated vest to give away, and we take a look at five of our favorite tool videos of the week. Those stories and more coming up next on The Tool Show. Welcome back, guys. What do you say we get started with Bosch, who announced a brand new table saw that caught our eye at World of Concrete? That is the all new Bosch Pro Factor 18 volt, 8 and a quarter inch portable table saw. Now, when we first laid eyes on it, we thought it was just another 4100 drop site saw, something we're both huge fans of. But as soon as you notice the lack of power cord, you know this is something special. Powered by the Bosch Power Core batteries and their bi turbo brushless motor, it delivers a powerful 5500 RPM and claims to match corded performance. And while it's powerful, it's still very light. Weighing in at only 44 pounds, the saw is easy to carry using its built-in handle. It features a 25-inch ripping capacity and 2.5-inch depth of cut. To keep you safe, it includes a modular blade guard, anti-kickback paws, and a riving knife. After trying it for ourselves, I can tell you right now that this is going to be very popular. Bosch also announced a new ProFactor 18 volt reciprocating saw. It has an orbital mode variable speed trigger and runs up to 2,900 SPM. The stroke length is 1 and 1 8 inch, aimed at fast cutting and more material removal. It also includes on tool storage for foot plate depth adjustments, rafter hook, and a lock jaw toolless blade changing system. And to keep you from shaking to death, it's equipped with Bosch's vibration control counterbalance technology. Last of all, the new Bosch Pro Factor 18 volt Spitfire X Lock 6 inch angle grinder with a paddle switch. They say it delivers performance equivalent to a 13 amp corded grinder, and of course, being X Lock, it's insanely fast and easy to swap out your discs. The safety features include kickback control, X brake, and restart protection. Their constant electronics make sure the disc maintains speed even under load. And guess what that vibration control auxiliary handle does? Well, I mean, I would guess. It controls it... vibration. Just saying. Pricing and availability is still on its way. So you guys remember in March of last year when Ryobi launched a line of 80 volt mowers that were the result of a direct collaboration with Professor X? Well, many of you love the opportunity to show up Patrick Stewart with your grass clipping prowess, but a lot of you grumbled at the idea and demanded a tractor style solution. And this week, Ryobi responded. And they said, screw you, we like playing with our joysticks. Just kidding. They actually launched two new tractor style 80 volt mowers, one with a 42 inch deck and the other with a 46. And I have to say, as much as I love a good zero turn, these are looking pretty good. Both mowers have 10 gauge fabricated steel decks with quick release, LED headlights, a rear storage bed, and a storage bin that sits on top of the batteries where the motor normally would be. Now the 42 inch has four steel blades, while the 46 drives six of them. But what I'm most excited about are the standard two inch square hitches found on both the front and the rear. They're there for things like trailers, snow plows, dump carts, de-thatchers, and more. They both have a 500 pound towing capacity, giving me all kinds of ideas for this thing. The 42 can cut up to two acres in a single charge, while the 46 can beat that by half an acre more. They also have several creature comforts like a comfy seat, cup holders, and USB chargers for your phone. Now they're side discharge by default, but can be converted to mulch or bagging with optional attachments. Maybe the most impressive thing? These guys are all assembled here in the USA. But of course, freedom and free boys. The 42 inch rings up at $4,999, while the 46 is about 500 bucks more. But let's say you don't have two acres to tackle and you'd rather walk, but you don't want to walk too much, but you still want to spend $2,000. Oh yeah, you got me. That's exactly what I want to do. Wait, really? No. Ryobi also revealed the 80 volt HP brushless Whisper series, 30 inch cross cut self propelled mower. Now that last part seems redundant because there's no way you're pushing a 30 inch wide mower all by yourself. I mean, look at that thing. It has a motor that claims to have more power than a 223 cc gas model. And as part of the Whisper series, it's 70% quieter than gas. It can handle up to one acre with 90 minutes of runtime on the included 10 amp hour battery. It also features their cross cut multi blade system with two 15.35 inch blades adding up to a super wide 30 inch cutting path. It has a 10 position single point height adjustment and can be configured for side discharge, mulch or bagging. And of course, being electric, you can easily fold it up and lean it against the wall in your garage without concern for gas or oil leaks. 
And yes, it's $2,000, but not just because it's big, but because it has that HP in its name. This thing is built for commercial work, and that kind of quality and durability costs cash. So you're probably going to want to have some customers lined up before you buy this one. Klein is launching an all-new glow-in-the-dark fish tape that I have absolutely no need to own, but I want one more than anything. The new 40-foot glow-in-the-dark fish tape comes in a clear case, making it easy to charge the line and the tip. It's completely removable for wall cavity, drop ceiling, and conduit applications. The fiber glass tape is compact and perfect for short or medium jobs in low light situations. Also, did I mention it glows in the dark? Why are you not already on the site ordering yours? I've ordered three since the segment started. When will you ever use Touch your face? You can get one or five for yourself now for about $64. Milwaukee had more news for us again this week, starting with the all new M18 Fuel High Speed Chain Snake. Now, it's designed to provide a portable solution with the power to complete multiple jobs in a single charge. The tool is optimized to clear grease and descale pipes using high speed and chain knocker heads, making it ideal for blockages in kitchen sinks, floor drains, toilets, and main lines. It can clear clogs in one and a half inch all the way up to four inch drain lines and comes with 75 feet of cable. The chain snake features a variable speed dial and a durable electronic foot pedal for more control in the line and a mechanical clutch to protect the cable. The partially enclosed drum helps contain the mess while maintaining easy access for cable cleaning and field repair. Now the high speed chain snake can clear up to 150 feet of scale buildup when paired with the included M18 Red Lithium High Output HT 12.0 battery packs. Milwaukee also has launched a one and one half inch to four inch standard chain knockers, as well as a one and a half inch through four inch carbide chain knockers, both for five sixteenths inch chain snake cable. You can get your hands on one in May for $2,499. Now, Milwaukee also released a new addition to their pipeline inspection system with the new 100-foot flexible pipeline inspection reel. This is the first flexible reel released for their M18 500 gigabyte control hub with one key. The new flexible push cable is built to navigate right bends and traps in one and a half through four inch lines and up to 100 feet away. It has a high resolution 25 millimeter 1080p self-leveling camera claiming to provide the industry's clearest image during live streaming photos and video. The new Milwaukee Milwaukee 100 foot flexible pipeline inspection reel will be here in March for $4,239 or in a kit with the M18 500 gigabyte control hub with one key, two batteries, a bunch of other stuff for $6,624. A bunch of other stuff? Yes, a bunch of other stuff like okay. skids, lead clamps, tablet mount, charger. I'm sorry, I'm asking. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Moving on to Rigid, they announced an all new 18 volt hybrid job site radio with Bluetooth. And while it boasts a pair of three inch speakers and a 15 watt amp, it's the hybrid feature that got my attention. Sure, it will run for up to 30 hours with an 18 volt, 6 amp hour max output battery, but being able to plug it in and keep the tunes playing when I need to put that battery in a tool, yes please. But that's not its only relevant feature. It also has a USB 2.1 amp charging port for your phone, and of course, it's an AM FM radio in case you can't stand listening to music without three commercials in between each song. I do not understand radio people. The new rigid 18 volt hybrid job site radio with Bluetooth is available now for 159 bucks. Moving on to McKee who chose to go very big this week with a huge demo hammer and a massive saw. Love it. That is the Makita 40 volt max XGT brushless rear handle 10 and a quarter inch circular saw. If you've never used a 10 and a quarter inch blade on a hand tool, let me tell you, it's big. This new Makita delivers 4,000 RPM and up to 150 cuts in 4x4 SPF lumber on a single 4 amp hour battery. And I have no idea how they do that. It's equipped with their auto start wireless system using Bluetooth so you can remotely control their dust extractors. But despite the size and power, it comes in at only 13.3 pounds, which is 3.2 pounds lighter than the corded version. It has a huge three and three quarter inch cutting capacity, ripping through four by material in a single pass. You can pick one up today for only $439 in a kit with a four amp hour battery, charger, and bag. But not to be outshined by a saw is the new Makita 80 volt max X2 XGT brushless 20 pound AVT SDS Max AWS compatible demolition hammer. And before you complain about how long that name is, remember, 
You weren't the one that just had to read it. You poor baby. The new hammer is powered by a pair of 40 volt XGT batteries running at 80 volts for maximum power. This tool is meant for breaking up concrete and it does it well. It boasts 20.2 foot pounds or 27.5 joules of impact energy. It has vibration control, AWS for controlling your dust extractor, and its soft no load function automatically reduces the speed of the motor when it's idling. If you have a stump ton of concrete to beat, you can pick up your own for only $839 bare. Spider recently announced new diamond edge hole saws and hole saw bits. The new hole saws can cut up to 20 times more holes, are up to 10 times faster, can be used wet or dry, and on ceramic, porcelain, granite, slate, marble, glass, fiber, cement, boards, laminates, and more. They range from one and a quarter inch to one and a half inch and support up to one and a half inch depth of cut. Of course, to keep you on target and hold your blades in place, they also announced new carbide tipped pilot bits. Next, they have their all new diamond bite cutting blades. They feature a complex industrial diamond matrix. They are cooler, cleaner, and longer lasting than standard diamond blades. They also can cut wet or dry for increased versatility. They are out now and cost between $34 and $39 a piece. Now, if you guys happen to watch our show two weeks ago, we showed you a line of motion heat heated gear that Sarah and I have been using all winter for outside work, play, and a few seriously cold motorcycle trips. Well, the response was really positive from you guys. I talked to one of their product designers about it, and he actually told me that while they originally built them for outdoor power sports, as it turns out, they now sell more of them to tradespeople than anyone else. They keep you warm on the job site without getting in your way. So they were glad to hear that you guys like them, and they offered to give us one of their $200 heated vests to give away to one of you. So if you live in the lower 48 and you want to win this awesome vest, I don't blame you. I wear mine every single week. To enter, just leave a comment below telling us about your coldest activity, work or play, that would be better when wearing a motion heat vest. It's almost time for our next production crew tool shelf giveaway. Now every month we go live on a Monday night and we call a random channel member and let them choose one of our mystery power tool prize shelves. Last month, Sandy was our big winner and the shelf that she chose was loaded up with over $2,700 in Bosch power tools, accessories from Spider, boots from Keen, and even a $200 goose grip mechanics light. Now the next live event is going to be on March 6th, so mark your calendars for 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now we always have a bunch of prizes that we give away to people in the chat, but if you want a shot at our $2,000 plus shelf giveaway, well, you just have to be a channel member. To learn more, click join after you subscribe. Now we still have three shelves left in this first season, one loaded with Milwaukee, one with Flex, and one with DeWalt. The DeWalt one is just as valuable as the others, but it has very few tools on it. Let that sink in. Let me know which shelf you hope to win in the comments. Now, every week we cover a few of our favorite tool videos we find right here on YouTube. So let's start with Mr. Mark Thomas over at Mark Thomas Builders. Mark recently got a hold of the new Milwaukee M12 Packout Light. It's Packout compatible, but only works on the top of your stack. But it's fairly compact, has a big rotating light, and storage room for your phone, some fasteners or knickknacks, and a few USB ports for charging. And yes, at least one of those is a USB-C port, woot. For the full review, head over to Mark Thomas Builder. Our buddy Devin from the Durban Compound, who is best known for having the most comfortable hoodies that we have ever experienced. I bet you didn't even notice us wearing them this whole time. But Devin also reviews tools at the compound, and this week, well, he didn't exactly like what he found. That's the Milwaukee M18 cutoff saw, something we've seen reviewed several times here on YouTube, garnering mostly praise. But as Devin points out, not all of them truly put the saw to work, but he did. And after burning through a ton of batteries on a big basement job, the saw showed signs that maybe Milwaukee should have put two batteries on that thing and made it an M36 tool. To see what went wrong and what went right, head over to the Durban compound. Also asking for one of these hoodies, totally worth it. Devin wasn't the only guy having problems with the tool review this week. Matt over 731 Woodworks decided to put Ryobi's track saw to work and found several issues as well. He wasn't particularly fond of the track, the riving knife got in the way, dust collection wasn't great, and he even had issues getting it to cut squarely on the track. Not good, but despite these issues, Matt does find several reasons to buy the saw anyways. He also decides to tackle this issue. Old Red Eye 4 probably had the most important question of the day. How do you pronounce Ryobi? Is it Ryobi or Ryobi? Well, I say Ryobi, obviously, but the company Ryobi pronounces it Ryobi. Let me know how you pronounce it. How do I pronounce it, Matt? That's easy, buddy. Correctly. 
Jim Davis over at Philly Fix got an example of the new DeWalt DCF 845 impact and put it up against no less than six of its brothers to see if the new XR flagship deserves the title. Rob was going to read this segment, but I couldn't stop him from making fun of Jim publishing at 4K and 60 frames per second. Not an improvement in his case. Oh, shut up. For the full review and glorious 4K 60 frames a second, head over to Philly Fixed. Tools has something new for us from Makita. Shocker, this time it's their first blade left 40 volt XGT saw. It has a six and a half inch blade, better ergonomics and balance, and way more power. And I mean in his testing, it just slaughters the LXT version. There are a ton of features to unpack and testing to be done, all of which Tools covers. So if sidewinders aren't your thing and you've been holding out for a blade left XGT Makita saw, head over to Tools and Stuff. Okay, let's get to our platinum tool deal of the week. Every week we team up with the pros at ohiopowertool.com and give you a code that will get you the best tool deal on the inner tubes, but it will only work for the first 25 people. So be sure that you are subscribed and tap that notification bell so that you can get the code first each week. So are you ready? This week we have $50 off any $100 purchase of Rigid Pro Tools. And it doesn't have to be in stock. Any Rigid purchase of $100 or more and you'll get $50 off. This week's Platinum Tool Deal code is BABWST. Just remember that the code will only work for the first 25 people and then it dies. So act fast and good luck. I want to thank Ego and Spider for continuing to support the Tool Show and our community of Tool fans. All right, guys, if you can, do something kind for someone else today and we'll see you next week.